They're entitled to everything. Why do they need to save and... So, according to the media, seems like individual investors are lying. They're saying that they're gonna buy more stocks, but actually they're selling. According to them, the huge statements have been made that people will be investing even more money this year than last year. But what they're actually doing according to the data and bank rate is that they're actually selling. The main reason according to them is simply the elevated inflation. Can you believe that? The second reason they said that people simply need more money, right? They're breaking into their 401ks. They're taking the loss they're taking the penalty they're investing the money elsewhere then they're losing this money and they're, they're losing on each and every line of this particular investment yeah, do what you say and say what you do isn't playing out in the actions of young investors seems to see a senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson is here she joins us now with the results of a new and maybe surprising survey released this morning yeah, Andrew, it's quite surprising, actually. Bankrate finds that younger investors claim they're going to invest more than last year, but in fact, they're doing exactly the opposite. More than half of Gen Z and 43% of millennial investors say they expect to put more money into stocks in 2023, more so than Gen X and baby boomers. But here's what they're really doing. What we see among younger investors is a much higher propensity to have been taking action so far here in 2023 in the face of things like elevated inflation or the higher returns that are available on safe haven cash investments. And there was a, a, an increased likelihood of selling or withholding investment rather than buying uh, in response to that. The survey shows that almost half of Gen Z and a third of millennial investors sold stocks or didn't buy more this year due to elevated inflation. And 38% of Gen Z and 33% of millennial investors sold stocks or didn't buy more due to higher returns on safe haven investments like savings accounts, money market funds, CDs and government bonds. They may be using that money to pay off credit card debt, buy real estate or invest in their own business, but they're not leaving it there in the stock market, Andrew. So how are they taking money out of their retirement accounts to do this, though? Well, a lot of them are going into their 401k. In fact, right. Voya found at a loss. Two, well, at I mean, a loss and right. at penalty and taxes yep. and not thinking about all of that. A lot of surveys have shown that if they don't have an emergency savings, they're much more likely to tap their retirement accounts for hardship withdrawals they may be able to take. But then taking out 401k loans is seen as, oh, that's okay because I'm paying myself back. But if you miss one of those payments, once you right. set up the repayment schedule, it's How a distribution. How broad is this? I mean, do you think there's a whole generation that's doing this? Or this is just a... At two, two, in five, two out of five Americans, according to a Voya survey, right. were going into the retirement savings if they didn't have any emergency savings. So it all comes down to having that emergency fund. If you don't have it, the biggest part of your money is the retirement. They're not blowing it on experiences. You know, they're never going to get old. You know that. They're going to live these, these millennials. But it's interesting. The, that cover that boards, the idea of keeping cover boards it in the market app, for 10 apps years from the is apples. Not, from yeah, the, they're not. This no, different? yeah, this that's different. Looking, listening, and trying to get into chronological order. First, the media said individual investors sold. Then individual investors are not selling. This is why the market button is not in. Now we're seeing that they're saying that individual investors sold again. They're not buying more, even though they're saying and stating they're going to invest even more money. So who is right? Who is wrong? And who is telling the truth over here? Last but not least, why would anyone, just think about it, say they're going to invest more money, according to them, then sell the positions, right? And then, according to them, Take the penalty, pull out money from 401k or any retirement fund, right? And then invest the money on the market. While, according to the data from Bankrate, they're already selling stocks and not buying and opening new positions. Crazy mismatch of information and statements, I would say, over here. Guys, I understand the economic conditions are worse. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people stay on major losses if they start purchasing last year. Not to mention a lot of banks, majority of the banks on average portfolios down over 50% of unrealized losses. And I understand a lot of people, individual investors are still sitting on losses, but I'm not quite sure that they're selling on losses. I'm not sure that they're turning their impermanent losses into permanent losses. I think individual investors usually can hold longer than institutional investors and they don't have to break into their 401ks. I personally don't know anyone who took the penalty, took the loss, and pulled out money from the 401ks. I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys believe this? Yeah.